Hey guys, it's Ernesto and welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. In this video, I will break down how these images were created, but most importantly, I will explain the intention and why I created these images. As photographers, we are constantly bombarded with images about what makes a good photo, what sells, and what the latest trends are. It's easy to get caught up in these expectations and try to conform to them, but it's important to remember that the most important thing is to stay true to yourself and your vision. Being intentional with photography, I believe, is one of the key ingredients which is helping me to elevate my photography. For this photo shoot, heading into it, I knew these images were going to be black and white. So the first thing I did was change the display on my camera to black and white. For these images, I wanted something very classic and timeless. For the main light, I used the Godox AD400. That light was positioned directly above the subject with a grid and a diffuser. The light position above provided a very dramatic look with lots of shadows. Because I was going for a black and white image, I wanted a lot of contrast in the image. The second light was the Godox AD600. This light was positioned camera left in a 48 inch deep parabolic softbox. The purpose of this light was to help fill in the shadows. Although I wanted a lot of contrast, I didn't want the blacks to be completely black. So this light helped to fill in and lift up the shadows just a bit. For the second look, I added an AD600 with a seven inch reflector and a 10 degree grid. The purpose of that light was to narrow the focus of light on the subject's face because her hair that she had was so much that her face was just going into complete shadow. So that light just helped to lift up the shadows a little bit. Now the backdrop was from a company based out in the UK which is called Hand Painted Backdrops. The link is down below. I use this backdrop because it added texture to the background, which helps to complete the vision of a classic image. With photography, it means taking the time to really think about what you want to say with your work and making conscious choices about how to go about saying it. It means staying true to your own artistic voice and style, even if it doesn't necessarily fit the mold. Creating work that matters to you means putting your heart and soul into your photography and letting it be a reflection of who you are and what you stand for. It means being willing to take risks and try new things and not being afraid to share your vision with the world. So don't be afraid to be bold and unique in your photography. Trust your instincts. And remember that the most important thing is to create work that speaks to you and has meaning to you. By being intentional and creating work that matters to you, you will be able to create truly powerful and meaningful images that will inspire and move others. So that is it guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. 
Put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what, which one of these images were your favorite. Please share this video with your friends and family. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care.